What's up guys, you're here with Cozy and Lobster for the next ever episode of our Troy Let's Play. Last episode, oh there's a bat over here, I'm going to kill the bat really quick. Last episode we killed a bat, and anyways, we worked on this room and I realized that I screwed up majorly and I kind of went off camera and tried to fix it the best I can. I think I need to, I fixed it, but I need to destroy like most of the back wall here and replace it to make it look like this. We've laid down road finally, not a 100% complete, so we'll keep our eyes peeled for some clay and we also laid down some hollow brick over here to hopefully spawn in some unicorns so we can get some unicorn horns so we can make some holy arrows but on this episode we're gonna do it's gonna be a little bit of a farming episode I think I said this last episode um you guys hope you guys are ready to sit down and actually do this but um oh yeah I went fishing off camera once again I found a, I found a hollow crate so let's actually open that now Oh, I didn't get any items. I thought you would get a weapon from it. You guys just souls of light. That was really disappointing. Anyways. Crap, I forgot where I was going with this. Anyways, the next couple of episodes are going to be farming episodes. Like last episode, it was just kind of relaxing. We were building and catching up on some things. And this episode is going to be trying to farming. We're going to make a track. It's going to connect with this track. Go over. It's going to go keep going. Keep going, keep going, and this is where the hollow's at. So I'm hoping to make like some type of a. Uh... Whoa, the music just cut out. What the freak? Oh, it was my headphones. Sorry. My mic has been cutting out, so I'm kind of I'm kind of skeptical on this right now. But uh, we're gonna make a kind of a minecart track, just because I'd never made one before, and it'd be easier to travel back and forth between the minecart track and everything else, so. How do you get on? Get on it! Oh. What's it doing? It keeps, like, grappling to it. Is it not tall enough? Oh, guess it wasn't tall enough. Whoopsie. But yeah, that's the plan this episode. Hope it goes okay. Yeah. Crap ton of lava too. I gotta watch my step. Oh. Sweet. Wow, this guy came out right out right at the very beginning. Um shop. He should have the yo-yo glove, which we are buying that. And we're probably gonna go home and make the yo-yo glove. That is a really good item. Really, really good. Like, so good, I don't really want to wait. <laughs> I want to go get it now. Help us. That will help us farm. Okay, like, legitly, I spent the last kind of, like, 15 minutes building that railroad. And I only got... Whoa. I only got, like, around here. Like, no. Nah, no, nah, that ain't happening this episode. I don't have... I mean, I do have a little time to make this episode, but I don't have a lot. And I don't want to waste all episode doing. Is that a boulder, really? Uh, what the? I was like, oh, I'll destroy it. <laughs> no, N no, no. Well, when I was coming down down here, I found the bone merchant again, and he's selling the lantern, which I like the lantern way more than the freaking heart. But I don't like the uh, I don't like the freaking die we have on him. So, there we go. Sweet, there we go. Got the uh, Bones McGee. That's the guy, the traitor. I don't know why I said that. It's just called the Magic Lantern. Summons a Magic Lantern that exposed nearby's... L wait, nearby what? Treasures. Oh, is that why everything glow? Ah, uh, that explains why things glow in my other world. I had this in my other world, and I was like, why is everything glowing around me now? Why did I take damage there? Why everything? Anyways. Back to the hollow. So anyways, like I said, this episode is going to be mainly about farming. The next couple episodes are going to be mainly about this too. Because we need to start collecting the, uh, what about this? Am I confused? No, I'm not. The crystal shards, which we have a full inventory already. Get off me, bat. As you can tell, I made the yo-yo bag. Definitely got to make that. But we need souls of light. For, oh, oh, wait. We only have one of those, so I want that. Inventory's already full again. Oh, it's crap. Throw, throw, uh, throw. Well, here's enemies. A lot of them. Holy crap. I wish our yo yo did a little more damage. Like, technically, it kind of does, but I wish it does even, it did even more. 
I know there's a jungle one that's better than this, so we could probably go near the jungle if we were that desperate, but I'm not that desperate. And if you guys don't know, Steam Summer Sale's here, and I already spent like around 100 bucks on that. Stupid freaking boulder. The boulder. Freaking love Avatar. That's where that's... Well, if you guys wonder where that quote comes from, Avatar. The last airbender, not the freaking blue monkeys one. The blown bone sword. That's a blow t sword. Uh, aren't I funny? But, um, the games I bought this time were, uh... Like, I bought a pack of Resident Evil games because I wanted to play Resident... <laughs> oh my god! Can I just talk to my... Can I just talk to, like, the microphone normally for once, Shirai, please? No? You just gotta send a skeleton archer down my freaking throat? Anyways, I wanted to play Resident Evil 4 again, so I bought the whole pack because I never played Resident Evil 5 or 6. I've only played Resident Evil 4. And I began playing that game again. That game is really fun. I forgot how fun that game was. And when I was a child, I mean, um, I could never beat it legitly. I would always get to the first town, like legitly, the very first town, like right at the very beginning of the game, it could not kill the guy with the chainsaw. And I would always die getting my head chopped off. So I had this magical device called Game Shark, which would give me infinite ammo and infinite health. Except the game would glitch out with infinite help because the chainsaw guy would cut off your head. And you can't move with a cut off head. So the game would think you're dead, but you're alive. So the game would just lock up. That was not fun. You can't even pause the game in that mode too, which is when you like that in that state. So yeah, that was fun. But I got another freaking archer comes here. I'm gonna freaking scream. Okay, we're gonna make a boatload of sticky bombs. Sticky, sticky, sticky bombs. Dead. I've also been watching like Yu-Gi-Oh lately too, and like for some reason I've been calling Blue Eyes White Dragon, Blue Eyes Quite. I don't know why I need. I feel the need to tell you this. I just feel like I just need to tell you that I've been calling Blue Eyes Blue Quite Dragon, Blue Eyes Quite Dragon. You my Blue Eyes Quite Dragon. Ah, oh, you bastard! That Kobe jumped though. Uh, heal. No, mouse is pointing the wrong way. Don't you dare shoot me! Oh my God! The what did I die from? I just probably got what's on fire. Ugh! Freaking hate that. Okay, I tried like five times to get back down there and I died each time. So I went fishing and actually got the high-tech fishing line. So we can actually make the, um... I'll show you what we can make. I forget. I don't know what it's called. It's like the, uh, the fisherman's kit or like the fishing kit or something like that. But it requires the fish earrings, the high-tech fishing line, and the, uh, bait box thing. Whatever it's called, uh... I think it's actually called the bait box. What is it at? Where is it at? Tackle box. That's what it's called. Put you in there. Then we can create. Where is it at? The angler's tackle box. Ta da! Which practically just shoves all those together. The fishing line will not break. Decreased chance of baking consumption. Well, consumed. And. Decreased chance of bait consumption. I, I guess that makes sense, but I feel like it's a weird way to word it. Increased fishing skills. Okay, sweet. So I'm going to go back up to the tree house. Put all this crap up and try again to go down there. Well, anyways, like I said, Steam summer sale is up once again, so which means that I'm losing all my money again to Steam. Which, I mean, I know everyone makes that joke, but I legitimately like, spend like 100 bucks each time this sale goes on. I mean, granted, I don't buy singular games. I usually just buy packs. So, like, I'll buy the, uh, crap. Um, sorry, I'm just, I said crap because of the wizard here. Um, I, I usually buy, like, the, I bought, like, the Valve pack or I buy the uh, Resident Evil pack. That's another one I bought. I bought it. I also bought the Tomb Raider pack this time. I don't know. I just buy, like, random things. That I just, like, like, Tomb Raider, I played that as a lot when I was younger. Usually I try to bu buy games that were, I played when I was younger. Nothing against new games, just like can't really play new games. Trust me, if I could play the new Warcraft games on this computer, I would. Without like, in, looking like I'm in a freaking well, 19 freaking 30s film. So, but yeah. It, 
Um, is Skeletron Prime going to spawn down here? Please tell me he's not going to spawn down here. Because that's what it means. Like, that legitly just says the Skeletron Prime is going to spawn. Which, I don't mind if he spawns, as long as it's not down here. While I'm farming. I'm having no luck today. Every time I come down here, I usually take like 200 damage. So by the time I get here, I'm already, I'm already dead, practically. This isn't a bad area right here. Marrow? 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 Sounds like a freaking Pokemon. Like, Marrow! It's a, like... I'm making fun of Sparrow. Okay, I had more sticky bombs. I wonder where they went. Well, we'll see if Skeletron Prime gets summoned in. I don't think he is. I don't know, I never had Skeletron Prime or any of the, like, mechanical bosses spawn when I've been down here. Once again, I played a lot of Terraria. Even though I've only played, I guess, like, a total of probably, like, six or seven worlds. And I've only beat, what, probably four of them? Except, like, I only beat, technically I beat one. I only beat the Moon Lord once, but I got to the Moon Lord, like, probably three to four times. Once again, not that impressive. Oh crap, I'm trying to whip out the yo-yo and I freaking can't do it. Uh, my answer is no. I think he spawns in by nine. If he's not in by nine, he won't spawn. Which is fine. That's good, because we weren't ready to find Skeletron Prime either. Even though, in my opinion, when you get to this part, like, the part of the game that's taking on mechanical bosses, he's way easier than Skeletron. Like, the part you get to fight Skeletron... Oh my god, it's like improbable to kill that bastard. Uh, that freaking purple guy's gonna spawn down here. Oh no, he got he spawned in there. But there is it. I don't know why I'm digging this. It's not gonna have anything useful in it. Oh, Skeleton Archer. That's not good. Hi, right, Cthulhu. Could spawn in then. He actually spawns down here. But you guys haven't seen a knife Cthulhu fight underground. Well, I shouldn't say that. You probably... Like, you might have done the same thing I have. Freak, the... The hollow bats do more damage to me than the Eye of Cthulhu. There is something wrong here. I'm just saying that that's not how this game should work. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying the bosses should probably adjust to the, like, hard mode. I mean, that could probably be cool. But... Oh, crap. My God. I'm not gonna. I might die here. Actually, I was kind of like, I was like, ah, I'll be guy Cthulhu, no problem. We had this problem before, didn't we? I think I did. I don't know if I got this on camera, but I wanted to fight the brain for some reason. Yeah, I did. I think I did. Like, I wanted to fight the brain for some reason. Maybe not. I don't freaking know. Freaking goddamn! I got killed by the eye. Uh, you can. That just proves my that my amount of luck today playing Terraria. God damn it! Not gonna run all the way back down here. Once again, I want to complain if it wasn't so far away. That's why I was hoping to build a rail track, but the rail track just is taking forever to build. And going through it, I take a, like half my health usually goes out because of that rail track. Because there's either, like, part of it goes through a freaking brown recluse nest, and for some reason every time I go through there, there's always one brown recluse that bites me, takes 100 health off of me. Oh, it's so annoying. It's raining again. Marrow bow. 40 range damage. Whoa. Freaking fast. Hmm. Well, down I go. But, um, the other couple of games that I've bought, um, it was, it's like a new beta zombie game that came out. Uh, it not just came out, but it was, it's been out. My friend has been playing it, and he's been playing it a lot, actually. My friend... One of my friends wanted to, like, he offered, there was, a, oh my god, the game had an offer to have, sell a bundle, and he was gonna, he was gonna, like, well, the game on summer sale is, like, I think 10 bucks, but the bundle is, like, 16, so I would, we would both save 2 bucks, so he, we, he offered to pay, and I would pay him back the 8 bucks, like, this Tuesday at Robotics, but, uh, besides that, I don't usually, like, I legitly just buy packs, oh, I also bought, like, an anime game, so, I bought two actually. Bought two anime games. 
I'm trying to calculate where all my money went. Because I, I know I at least bought $100 in games. If I check my Wells Fargo account, it's it, it will say that I have, like, spent $100. So. Mimic. Where's this Mimic? Oh, right there. Sweet. Please drop the arcane thingy where I can use... Crap. <laughs> and a freaking... Oh, wow. That guy has a freaking dead eye. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Like, when in doubt, oh, crap. <laughs> this archer is pissing me off. Where? How? No, kill the mimic. Kill the mimic. Kill the mimic. Kill the mimic. Got him. Oh, the oh, sweet. We got... That's cool. We got the Titan Glove. Sorry about that. Got off track. What the freak was I just talking about? Yeah, I was just trying to. I'm trying to name off the games I bought, and I'm trying to lay, name name how much they were how much they were worth. Okay, the two anime games. One was um, Nico Paro Two, because I like I'm doing Nico Paro, so I'm gonna do all the series right now. Get that out of the way. Um, the other one was another anime game. I'm not gonna play that on my thing. My friend Ashton said it looked like a good anime game, and I was like. I looked at it a little bit, read up the story a little, and I was like, yeah, it looks, sounds like a good game. And it's like, it seems like it's like another Prince of an Angel game, which that game went on for five months when I played it. And like, legitly, five months of me, well, I mean, yes, my reading sucks, but that game went on for five months of me reading it every day for at least, what, three to four hours a day? That game is long. Like, it's not a bad game, it's just a long game. You gotta, like, if you wanna read, the, if you wanna read Prince of an Angel, like, I say yes. Like, the, the series is good, but man, is it long. It is a long series. Love the series, but it is long. This is what I mean. You write in along, you just hit crap. <laughs> That's also what I mean. Getting freaking... It's, it's like a 50-50 hit shot when you go down here. It's either you hope and pray no enemies spawn... And you will go through this without taking any damage and you can make it to the hollow. Or you go through it and you take a crap ton of damage and then you just die. Wait, 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 wait. There's corruption over here? What? Was this here before? Okay, I'm not that upset about this. Because that means I don't need to run across the map to fight corruption to get... Oh... I'm actually a little happy about this. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I was kind of, I was definitely afraid that I would have to run across the map if I wanted to farm anything crimson. And I don't have to do that anymore. And we're gonna farm the crap out of Icors because oh, they drop all that. I think this is actually just called Icor. Oh, freaking really? Is it called Icor? Yeah, it's just called Icor. Okay, we're gonna farm over here for a bit. I'll at least try to see if we can find an area that is farmable over here. I'm not asking for much. I'm just asking for some kind of flat area. Why am I taking dumb damage? But, yeah. Until I get my job, which kind of sucks. Because if you think about it, like, if I get a job, I can't spend as much time on my computer anyways once I get it. And the way my dad goes about his job, because that's the... I'm getting the same job that he has, technically. He's a final inspector, but, like, I'm working at the same place he works. So it would be, like, I'd be working on airplane tires. Or aircraft tires, not airplane. I should say aircraft. And, uh... Just be doing, like, that. <laughs> just, I'll be assembling wheels. And he's been working, like, during summer, I guess it's over. Like, they work a lot. So, my dad literally worked, like, 12 hours a day. So... Like, I'll be working a lot. That's good. I'll be making money. But I technically don't need money. Co like I said, college is paid for, uh... You. Skeleton Archer, quit! Yeah, burn. <laughs> Bastard. Bastards. Why won't these guys just die? They're like parasites. Slowly eating me. No, it's not slowly. They're just freaking gigantic sharks that just eat me in one bite. Holy crap. Oh, Bone Merchant. I don't think we want anything else from the Bone, bone Merchant. I mean, no offense to you, Bone Merchant, but, uh... I got your lantern and I got your glove. I don't think you have anything else that I would want. Another archer down there. 
Heck, I want more of those i things to spawn in. I'm kind of curious on how big this thing, this area is. Or how corrupted this area is. Because legitly, it just looks like a tiny little mark that's just been corrupted. And that's it. This tiny little area. I don't know, I might be going, I might go down here and harvest, like, like farm off camera and stuff. Like I normally do. But I mean, at least you guys get the gist of it. And I'm, I think I've been doing this for roughly around 30 minutes now. By myself, just talking. Probably a little bit more. It's like, yeah, it's 8.45. I've been doing this for like an hour now. So before I do, before we I go, I would like to do a goblin army. Let's uh, bring back the goblin army because we should have enough of that crap to make at least one, maybe two, goblin armies. And like I said, we can, we can use items from them. At least I think I hope they have a leader that we can kill, and he drops items. We'll survive a goblin army. Then I'll probably call it an episode. We we farmed a bit. It was fun. We got our good luck pits here. We have uh, let's see if we let's see if I can now name them off. We got Wormy, we got Hopper, we got uh, Boy Winkle, and we got uh, Cricket, a uh, Jiminy. I think I called him Jiminy Cricket. I never remember the Cricket, the Grasshopper's name. I feel bad. I remember these guys' names. I, I swear I don't dislike you. I'm sorry, Grasshopper. What I need to find, and when I go through the jungle, when I start exploring the jungle, is the uh, the sharpening stone. That would help me a little, not a lot, lot, but it it helps because it breaks down the defenses. I wonder if they're all down here. Oh, there he is. Crap! That guy does a crap ton of damage. Holy snot! I like how the rest of the goblin army is a joke, and this guy just comes in like a freaking like a BA, Randy or Orton style. Uh, why can't I tackle those guys? Really? I don't think I can kill this guy. It's kind of sad to say because this is what I wanted to do, this thing to be, is for I can kill the goblin. Sorcerer. I think that's what his name is. What's your name? Yeah, Summoner. It's Summoner. I just need to get my dodging skills a little bit better. Dang it! Man, that's not getting my dodging skills any better. Come on, 18%. What the frick is he saying? Probably says, quit running, pussy! <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah, crap. Oh, my phone. We going to play? No, probably. Yeah, I, I probably, John is bugging me because I I said I would play with him. Oh, crap. This guy's freaking hard. I don't remember this guy being this hard, but I probably always fought this guy probably near the end of his use. Wish he was like the other sorcerers. After you hit him once, he just quit moving. <laughs> but he wouldn't be that. If he wouldn't be this enjoyable, I'm actually having fun during this fight. He's not like he's not like a ripoff. Like I feel like some of the other enemies are ripoffs, like the brown recluses. I think those guys are ripoff enemies. Because legitimately, they, you can shoot web at you, you're stuck. And then after that, once they touch you once, they do over like 150 damage to you. Like, I hate enemies that do that. That's not fun. I mean, yes, it's hard. And that's what this mode is. But it's like, come on, man. When I can take like like 50 damage from this guy, that's fun, man. That means I have like like 10 shots from him. Why I... Oh, crap. I shouldn't be losing focus now. I'm losing focus. Oh, shut up. Come on, come over here. Oh crap! He didn't. He didn't fly up here. What I was hoping for. He's flying for the buildings. Eight hundred and eighty health. No! 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 Yo! Yo! No! 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 Did I get him? Got him! Oh, I got the doll. I was, I was actually thinking I was probably going to get that doll. Okay, I don't know if he drops anything else besides the doll, though. Because that's, like, the number one thing I know he drops. 
Oh crap! I didn't think those guys were still spawned in. Crap! No! Don't tell me it's one minion that is left that is going to kill me. Okay. Wait. Okay, he drops a bow too. I did not know that. Ooh, that's a cool. That's a cool. Yeah, we're going to replace the stupid anchor with it. It's kind of slow, but shoots shadow flame arrows. Okay. Hey, we got the doll. If you guys haven't seen this, it's just it's that. Kind of nice because it goes through multiple enemies. Like, it goes through multiple segments. So, once again, that's that would be a nice item if you're going uh, magic to fight the, uh... Crap, what the freak is its name? The Eater of Worlds. I'm sorry. I, I, I derped there. Destroyer Worlds, not Eater. Both, actually, but... But you shouldn't be fighting the Eater of Worlds with this. Because, I mean... You're way too... It means you're cheating, or you're a little far ahead and behind for some reason. Got it. Oh, yeah. For some reason, I figured out I was quick stacking all my torches inside my uh, one chest. I do want to keep this on me, and I'll put you back in my inventory. Because it is a nice item. I mean, it's 40 damage, and it only uses, what, 6 mana? That's pretty good. It has no knockback, though. Very weak knockback. It still, like, none. I want to try the bow out. So before we leave, we're going to try this out. And I have seen someone kill the uh, Mega... Uh, Mega... Uh, Skeletron Prime with this thing. With the armor, I, like, I think a little bit worse armor than I have on now. So it's possible. But... Hmm. Eh. Like I said, I'm not usually the one who usually goes range. I usually don't go range at all. Like, legitly, the only time I go range is what you guys saw during the freaking Wall of Flesh fight. That's, like, it. I usually don't use anything else that's range. Actually, that's kind of a lie. Because I do use... I'm going to use the dart gun, probably, during the, the eye fight. And, yeah, that's a big fat lie. Okay, usually I don't go range armor set. I usually don't try to make that my main one. I usually try to make... Melee, my main hitters, and then usually well, don't worry about range. But, um, here, where's the kid at? We'll see what the fishing mission is, then we'll sp shoot off the bow, and then I'll call it an episode. Okay, that's crap. Not going all the way to the jungle to die. We'll see how good it is. I'm curious, because it does, I think, just as much as my yo-yo. Ah, way more. And like see, I don't understand how arrows work anyways, because or anything that's range, really. Oh, crap. This is good! I like this weapon! Crap! I went in lava like an idiot. Oh well. I didn't think I was gonna win that anyways. I need open space. I mean... We can't, what, I took him like halfway down? That's pretty okay with the type conditions that I had, but I need open space to fight him. I gotta say, I think that's my biggest problem with commentating right now. Besides not talking about things, rooting, well, what I mean by not talking about things, just not talking at all, because I do, I still do that, I'll sit still. I need to get in the, like, the mood of just keep talking and never shut up. Two, um, my me, my memes, uh, <laughs> I don't got no memes, um, my metaphors. My, I always suck at trying to make metaphors. I'm like, oh my god, that crimson chest just messed me up like Godzilla chewing out a bus. Like that, that's not a good metaphor. I should have just been like Rosie on Donald eating up a Subway sandwich or something. I mean, that's better, but it's not as, not as still sucked. I don't know. I need to work on my metaphors a bit. And I always start to say something, or I, I, I don't know how to word this. Like, I screw up my sentences. <laughs> And what I mean by that is just, like, I'll start, like, oh, like, like, what I'm doing now. I'm, like, I'm, like, just saying, like, 50 times. I'm diverting. I'll start, like, saying, when I was editing my video today for Nikopara, for example, I was, there was this part about, so for some reason, I was, like, we're at, the, like, it was the part of the market. And I was talking about WWE and West wrestling. Like, that's what was my metaphor. I used the metaphor here. I was like, oh my god, ch uh, ch chocolate and vanilla were, like, slapping me, slapped each other. And, oh, wait, no, they, like, it was like chocolate had her, the heck, uh, had me in a headlock. And she went over and tagged vanilla in and said, RKO me. Like, you're like, what? That doesn't make any sense. Like, 
That's exactly kind of what I said. That whole part, you probably was like, what did you just say? But that's how I understood that part. Like, I'm an idiot when I start talking about crap on here. I swear to God. I mean, I, I know that's normal, but still, I, I need to work on that. It's just, it's annoying. But anyways, guys, I think, like I said, next episode is going to be a crim Crimson Mimic farming episode. And if I feel like it, we might fight a boss. But um, I need to work up some potions for that. And I've been farming the farm a bit. I'll show you the farm before we go. Kind of just freaking punched my nut and it hurt now. It's totally random, I know, but still. I got stuck. I need to find more clay. It's going to bug the crap out of me if I don't finish this. Uh, the brink root, uh, like I said, the day bloom's already been done. Brink root's like halfway done. So is the uh, moon moon glow. I don't know. This stuff is like never ready to harvest. It's so random. The This one's like over, over halfway done. This one's almost over halfway done. And I still haven't got any crimson seeds. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, like I said, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.